Saint Romau, who founded the Camaldolese monastic order during the early 11th century, has his liturgical memorial on June 19th. Working with the Western Church's Benedictine tradition, he revived the primitive monastic practice of hermit life, allowing for greater solitude in a communal setting. Born into an aristocratic family during the middle of the 10th century, Romau grew up in a luxurious and worldly environment where he learned little in the way of self-restraint or religious devotion. Yet, he also felt an unusual attraction towards the simplicity of monastic life, prompted by the beauty of nature and the experience of solitude. It was not beauty or tranquility, but a shocking tragedy that spurred him to act on this desire. When Rama was twenty years old, he saw his father Sergius kill one of his relatives in a dispute over some property. Disgusted by the crime he had witnessed, the young man went to the monastery of St. Apollinaris to do forty days of penance for his father. These forty days confirmed Ramau's monastic calling as they became the foundation for an entire life of penance. But this would not be lived out at St. Apollinaris, where Ramau's strict asceticism brought him into conflict with some of the other monks. He left the area near Ravenna and went to Venice, where he became the disciple of the hermit Marinus. Both men went on to encourage the monastic vocation of Peter Ursulus, a Venetian political leader who would later be canonized as a saint. When Peter joined a French Benedictine monastery, Rama followed him and lived for five years in a nearby hermitage. In the meantime, Rama's father Sergius had followed his son's course, repenting of his sins and becoming a monk himself. Rama returned to Italy to help his father after learning that Sergius was struggling in his vocation. Through his son's guidance, Sergius found the strength to persist in religious life. After guiding his penitent father in the way of salvation, Rama travelled throughout Italy serving the church. By 1012, he had helped to establish or reform almost hundred hermitages and monasteries, though these were not connected to one another in the manner of a distinct religious order. The foundations of the Camaldolis order were not laid until 1012, when a piece of land called the Camaldoli, located in the Diocese of Arezzo, was granted to Ramau. It became the site of five hermit's quarters and a full monastery soon after. This combination of hermit cells and community life, together with other distinctive features, gave this monastery and its later affiliates a distinct identity and charism. Ramaz approached the contemplative life reminiscent of the early desert fathers can be seen in the short piece of writing known as his brief rule. It reads as follows. Sit in your cell as in paradise. Put the whole world behind you and forget it. Watch your thoughts like a good fisherman, watching for fish. The path you must follow is in the Psalms. Never leave it. If you have just come to the monastery, and in spite of your good will, you cannot accomplish what you want. Take every opportunity you can to sing the psalms in your heart and to understand them with your mind. And if your mind wanders as you read, do not give up. Hurry back and apply your mind to the words once more. Realize, above all, that you are in God's presence and stand there with the attitude of one who stands before the emperor. Empty yourself completely and sit waiting content with the grace of God, like the chick who tastes nothing and eats nothing but what his mother brings him. St. Ramau of Ravenna died in his monastic cell on June 19, 1027. Pope Gregory XIII canonized him in 1582. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us pray. Father, through St. Ramau, you renewed the life of solitude and prayer in your church. By our self-denial as we follow Christ, 
Bring us the joy of heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen.